Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for Killstar. And I know I do these a lot, but what can I say? I love Killstar. So today I'm going to be doing a review of two purses, a wallet, and a choker. And that's all in this big old box right here. Super excited. Before I get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of awesome stuff that I review. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this box. So the first thing I'm going to open is this bubble wrapped piece. I believe that it's the choker. very nice material, very thick, it's soft. There's four holes right here to loosen or tighten it. It has an upside down cross and on the back of it this is how it is attached. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So this can move around if you like. The leather is pretty stiff, so it's really tight on my neck right now. I had trouble um, putting it in the hole. The holes are really small. Um, I am on the third hole, I, I believe, um, and it fits really well. I really like it. It fits kind of high on my neck, but I also think that's because of um, <clears throat> how tight the leather is right now from the choker. I think once I wear it a little bit more, it'll loosen up and it'll kind of slide down a little bit. Um, it looks really pretty. It looks very like metal. I love it. Okay. And this is how it's fastened in the back. It goes through these two hoops and it's on the third hole. and it looks really pretty. And I will for sure wear this. I've been eyeing this one for a long time, but I'm just very hesitant on buying accessories because I'm not really an accessory type of person. I don't really wear a lot of necklaces or bracelets. And I've just recently, you know, been getting into like leather, um, leather bracelets. I got my two wristbands from Rivet Head and their leather is superior. I, I love it and they have great customer service which I love. One of my um, wristbands was too big and I wrote a review about it and had it, I sent it back and they're like well we can we can customize it for you what size is your wrist and they got my my measurements and I got it like Two weeks later and it fits perfectly so definitely recommend rivet head for lots of like their their leather accessories pretty great but this one super awesome love it now for the big stuff 
this is the Webuton wallet. I love, it comes really nicely packaged in this bubble wrap. I'm gonna have so much fun with this bubble wrap later. It comes in a very nice box. And then, another package. <gasps> it's so pretty. It has these spiderweb embroidery marks on it. And you can feel the detail that's that's great and um, has the bat I love bats awesome. it also has a zipper on the back it's quite tight probably just for coins and stuff and then you open it like this and you can put your ID in there and credit cards and more credit cards, credit cards. And it's really big on the inside. I'm very surprised by this. That's, that's awesome. So this is how big it is on the inside. And it has So this is the Webutant wallet and I love it so much. I'm going to see if my credit cards fit. <laughs> this I got off of eBay like a bajillion years ago. It has a little um, skull on it. <gasps> So let's see. It's my Discover. Picked a card that didn't have all my information on the front of it. And it fits right in. Look at that. And let's see. Let's go in here. And it fits. It's very tight, so it might take some some time for everything to loosen up and fit all my cards in there because I have lots of cards. But it fits in the second pocket and it fits. Ooh. Okay, here's the issue. It doesn't fit in this bottom pocket because of the clasp right here. There's not enough room. So basically, this last pocket and this last pocket are useless. But you do have other areas for your cards that fit perfectly. So I mean, you can put other things in here if you like. And you have lots of room on the inside to put whatever you like in it. This is a really, I love this wallet. I was needing a new wallet. I also have one more thing to add. The bat is not symmetrical. It's not even. You can tell that the Killstar logo is slanted as well as the bat is a little bit slanted. And being an OCD kind of person, this kind of bothers me. But it's not anything that I can't oversee over a couple of uses because I'm probably not even gonna look at the bat, I'm probably just gonna use it to open it and close it. I've got all my stuff in here, 
put it all in there. Coupons! <laughs> um, but everything fits. As you can see, I'm not using these two in the front because nothing will fit in there. But I have my ID right there. <laughs> and then all my cards and stuff. So everything does fit and it closes. And it's good. And I have my um, change in the back here. But uh, since I did get everything in, I did notice that the bat is crooked, which is sad. What is this? So I got the Webby Tom wallet and I thought, well, I have to have the set, right? So I got the set. <laughs> this is the Webby Taunt handbag. It has um, it has two straps right here. So you can put it over your shoulder. It has really nice detailing. The same embroidery stitching. Same bat in the middle. Awesome, awesome. It has these big pockets on the side. And it has it on both sides. It's a zipper. And there's also a zipper on this side. It's hard doing this backwards. <laughs> and the back part is very spacious. I can fit my whole hand in here. That's great. That's a lot of space. how big it is. There is a middle compartment right here that has a zipper on it. Right here. Has large pockets in it. Get my whole hand in there as well as this part. It's very, um, you know, it's the same material you'll expect from any kind of handbag. That rough, silky kind of material. There's also very big compartments in the side. One and two. Right there. Turn it around. On this side. You have a zipper right here. That's pretty spacious. And that's a pretty big bag. Anyways, that's a really big bag. It will definitely fit all of my stuff in there. I love it. I've been wanting a new a new bag for a very long time. Unfortunately, it does not come with a shoulder strap, which I am used to. Um, I have a really old restyle purse that I use right now, and I love how long the, the shoulder strap is. I usually wear it as a, a cross body. So this will be a big change for me to have a handbag instead of a shoulder bag. But I do the, it's very good quality, very nice quality. Um, I see it, oh, and the, the bottoms. So you can stand it up. Um, but I can see it lasting a long time. So like the wallet, the bat is also crooked. 
like that's an obvious crooked right there. If you look at that, that's crooked. I mean, you can tell that this part and this part aren't very balanced. Also very sad that this happened. And maybe they're all like that. I mean, you have to give them some sort of credit. Like they made a really good handbag and it's something so minor that, you know, people do send it back because things aren't perfect, but people aren't perfect and people can't make the perfect thing. You know, it, it takes a lot to make things and I'm just very impressed by this handbag and the fact that this is slightly crooked. Yes, it's going to annoy me to no end, but also it's a very lovely handbag. So that handbag is very like business casual, but you know, side of evil. I got one more thing. This this item, I did not see a lot of reviews on it. So, and I, I was just like really obsessed about it for a long time. And <clears throat> I was just waiting for a lot of reviews to come out and I didn't find many. So I decided to get it. And I'm about to do a review on it. This is the Cirque Clutch bag. <clears throat> it's quite heavy for the size. There's spikes right here love it um, let's see. it's PVC so it's gonna be very shiny and you can hold it like this you don't even even need the strap so that's great here's what it looks like so pretty so shiny this is the side, it's really thick. And the back, there's no zipper. And then you open it. <gasps> is that red? So one of, one of the reasons why I got this is because red is my favorite color. And I mean, this is such a beautiful bag that I had to have it. It comes with a shoulder strap. It's a chain. So that's really handy. And the red on the inside is velvet. There is a middle compartment that you can put all your stuff in there. There's another zipper compartment right here. I mean, you get two big compartments, well, medium-sized compartments, and then you get two zipper pockets, which is enough for me. All I need is a place for my wallet. So all I need is a place for my wallet. Let's see if it'll fit. It fits my wallet. And my phone and it fits my phone and my wallet does it close it does and it's perfect 
this is awesome. I'm going to use this a lot. I'm going to use both of these bags a lot. I'm super excited about this. It's very high quality PVC material. Um, I did get a PVC dress recently and um, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like the quality of it. It was very sticky, but this is very soft and tight and freaking beautiful and I love it. It fits everything in it and it's red and it's velvet and it has really good size quality storage compartments. Oh, and here is where you connect your shoulder straps to, right there on the inside. It's so pretty! Let's open this, see how the chain is. Here's the chain. It is a PVC shoulder strap, same material. Um, it has the D-rings right here on either side. And it has this really, really pretty chain on it. That is so pretty. And this is how you connect them. Let's put them on. And this is what it looks like. And that's a long strap too. That can definitely go over as a crossbody. Right here, it comes down here. Or you can just wear it regular. Or you can just have it as a little handbag like that. Either way. It's so pretty. So everything that I bought was during the birthday sale that they had and I bought it on the 7th it shipped on the 11th and it arrived on the 15th so so far so good with the shipping in this lot that I bought I had no refunds uh, nothing that was sold out so I was very fortunate I know a lot of people go through it and and it really sucks that when you buy something and then I'll all of a sudden it's like out of stock and you don't know until you get your package. As far as quality of everything that I got, I say everything is awesome quality. I've had a lot of their clothing not be as excellent quality as their handbags that I just took out. I had a recent purchase that I returned all of it. I bought like eight things and I returned seven of the things and it was during the clearance sale and I was like no none of it was good so I sent it all back I'm waiting for my refund right now so I mean it does happen to a lot of us you know you buy things spontaneously or oh my gosh it's on sale so I must buy something right and then you buy it and then you get it and you're like yeah, I didn't really want this. So that happened to me recently. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve my reviews, please comment below and let me know so I can get better at this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all the help and support that I've gotten so far. And I hope that y'all are being safe. Bye. Say bye.